Hello everybody, uh, it's Reggie here. Um, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on uh, what I've been doing. It's, um, it's quite hot in the loft, so I have been carrying on with updating the uh, lighting, putting some more lights in, um, but I thought I'd bring this down um, downstairs and um, and put the lights on, on here, because it's an easy to remove module. This is the uh, overbridge on the layout. Um, I'll just show you how it's made. It's just uh, a plywood uh, road bed uh, with wooden um, legs, which have been clad in um, card and uh, scale scenes brick paper. Uh, then I've put the plastic card girder structure on it, uh, just to, to make it look a bit better. And then on top, Got a Pico girder bridge section and again some scale scenes brick uh, sheeting on, on uh, thick card with, with capping and then a pavement section on one side, a uh, very small pavement on the other uh, and this is a scale model sceneries. So um, painted the surface grey, it does need some uh, white lines down the centre. But what I thought I would do is um, put some street lamps onto this bridge. Uh, so again, I've got the Kites Bites LED um, lamp posts. I've already fitted the resistor and uh, the length of wires to them. So what I'm gonna do now is decide on where I'm gonna position them. Probably gonna have one on this corner. Uh, there'll probably be one here, this side of the girder, another one there, one on the end, and then the opposite side, I'll stagger, probably two there. What I've got to be careful of when I do position and drill the holes is that I don't, uh, I'm not too close to this, this girder, um, and also that I'm not coming down in a, in a leg position. Um, when I put them on, I shall feed the wires through the girder, maybe down inside here, and then down onto the um, onto the lighting circuit upstairs. Um, so I'll fit the um, first one and see how it goes. Uh, so this will be the first uh, lamp post position, and what I'm using is a three mil drill, just very carefully drilling through. Um, this allows the resistor to pass through the hole but it's still small enough so that the lamp post sits on okay with a bit of glue. So, just be careful. So, that's gone through okay. Now we'll just Feed a light through it, check that it works. So the holes okay. Feed the red one through, get the resistor through, and then the other wire can come through. Or even the uh, resistors on the black one actually. On these lights, black is positive and white is negative. So although it's a little bit the wrong way round, I keep this wire black so that I know that it's the positive one. Just pull that through. So. The lamp post will sit like that. I'm just going to put a dab of super glue on it and then um, look on doing the rest. So I'll come back when I've uh, drilled and positioned the rest. Right, so um, I've put these three in. This is the last one on this side. Um, I'm just going to glue that in now. Uh, I did drill a hole in the wrong place. It came in the middle of the pillar, so I just drilled one next to it. I'll cover that up easily. So to glue it in place, just get some super glue on the end of a cocktail stick, just gently wipe it around the base of the light. Pop the light in. 
position it where you want it to make sure it's straight and level pointing the right way just hold it for a few seconds and then um, leave it to dry so that's four in this side now and what I'll do is um, probably just put two in here one here and one here because um, there isn't really much pavement on this side to work with um, and then we'll, we'll let it dry and then we'll start to uh, putting the wiring underneath to get that hidden as, as best we can so. hi so um, that's all five lights put in um, so what I've done is, as you can see, I've put uh, two on that side and then one in the middle on this side because, uh, and then the same on, on this end. Um, if I need to, I can always add, uh, say, another one there, um, but I think that'll probably be enough. So what I'm going to do is let the glue uh, dry and then I'll come back and have a look how to... Um, feed the, uh, the all the wires uh, neatly around the uh, around the bridge and then to connect up to the main layout um, hi again so um, the glue is dried on the uh, lamp post and um, what I've done is I've been threading the wires through uh, into the two central pillars and I've drilled a small hole in either pillar on the far side so you can't see it from the uh, viewing position and then I've threaded the wires for three lamp posts through each central pillar so um, I've just secured the wires with a bit of black tack um, and then you shouldn't be able to really see anything um, when it's in position so and then what I'll do is I'll drill a hole um, in the baseboard underneath where the pillars sit and then feed the wires through into a chop block and then connect them up to the lighting circuit so um, I'll do that next and uh, come back and see how it looks I, uh, so I'm back up in the loft I've put the bridge in position drilled the holes for the wires so the wires are now coming through here and here um, what I'm going to do is um, put all the wires in a chop block and then take that connection into the um, the main bus there and then that will give it the power. Um, I also saw that I had a couple of um, small wall lights. I don't think you can quite see them. So I've wired them up as well to the... Um, uh, to the bridge. So I'll get it all wired up and then we'll see how it looks. Okay so um, I've wired all the lights up now so we'll switch on and see how it looks. I've tried it so I'll do another work. So there we go um, and if I just bring this down you can see one it's not been very easy to film but there's the one uh, under the bridge and there's another one the other side on the entrance to the uh, signal box area so now I switch the uh, main loft lights off and um, see what it looks like So I'm, I'm pleased with that, I think it looks quite good. Um, what I've also been doing is you'll notice maybe that I've added uh, more lamp posts along the station front and the street. There's another one there. Uh, I've also fitted um, a floodlight to the back of the depot area and some small 
floodlights to the front of the uh, of the TMB depot. Uh, the lights inside, the, with the heat in the loft, the black tack that was holding them up has um, has got s soft and they've dropped down. So um, I've got to sort them out again and maybe glue them in place rather than just use black tack. So um, that's something I'll do. Um, so yeah, the overall effect's not looking too bad, I don't think. Um, I'm on a bit of a mission to do the uh, street lights at the moment, so I have got some more to do the back uh, roadway with. And the thing is, it's modular, so I can lift it out, um, do it out, do it away from the loft, and then uh, come and put it back in position. And then the wiring will be done from the back, so it shouldn't be too much uh, of a job. I've just got to get on with it, really. So. So I hope that was uh, of, of, uh, a bit of interest. If uh, anybody's got any comments or would like to know anything about uh, what I've been doing, then um, please let me know. And uh, bye for now.